Hey, how's it going everyone? Recently, I released my title templates for Premiere Pro. I first got inspired to make these titles from some inspiration a few years ago, so I thought it's only fair to share some tips on how I convert my animations into templates for your own use. This video will be covering the process of converting some existing designs into title templates for Premiere Pro. So I'm going to assume that you have some existing knowledge of animation and how you actually use After Effects to create these titles. This is purely about how you convert them into templates. So I've got this sample title here and uh, I'm just going to play that. So it's a very simple text animation that builds in and then there's an underlying base uh, sort of color. So the first steps that we need to do are we need to convert this title into what's known as responsive time. And we want it so that when we increase the duration of the template in Premiere Pro, it's not gonna affect the animation timing. It's gonna preserve the intro and the outro and it's only gonna increase the time where the text is static. So to start that, we have our composition here and we go up to composition in the menu we do responsive time, create intro. That immediately creates this intro on the sequence and I'm just gonna make sure it covers all keyframes that I have that are enabled to my animation. And likewise, I'm just gonna zoom out on the sequence and I'm gonna do the same thing for the outro. And this composition is actually embedded within a larger composition. So now we have the intro and outro preserved for the animation, it's now time to actually create the template. And for that, you're gonna to wanna to open the essential graphics window. So if we go into window, Central Graphics, and then you select your composition. So we go to the one that I'm working on, which is the Moga Sample. And first of all, I'm gonna give it a name. So I'm just gonna call this one Sample Template. So this is the panel that you actually pull everything that you want editable by the editor. So if we go into our composition that has the text, open up our text layer, go into text, and we can simply drag the source text into here. So now that we have this source text, instead of editing the layer directly within the composition window, I can just do it from the essential graphics. So I can just add text into there and it updates my design because it comes from essential graphics. I can enable properties on here such as custom font selection. I could do font sizing and other elements. And from here, I wanna add some color. Now I could change the color from the text itself, but what's easier is if I go into my effects and presets, and search for fill. And if we generate a fill, and if we drag that onto our title text, now when we open the effects window, we have this fill, which is just gonna overlay whatever is in this layer with a fill color. Uh, so at the moment, it's just a pure red, but if we change that back to white, and again, just like with the source text, I can drag this color into my essential graphics, and I can change it right in here. So let's go for something like a blue, and you see it updates immediately. So again, not only is this a great templating tool, but it's also a great building tool within After Effects because you can manipulate your design very consistently using everything that you want to change in one location. I'm gonna do the same on this under rule design. So I'm gonna drag a fill over onto there. And again, I'm just gonna drop the color in. And I can rename this element to face color. Yeah, because I'm British, I'm gonna add in the U where it's supposed to go. Now I'm gonna add one of the key ingredients that have really improved my own title designs, and that is a menu selection. So first of all, we need to create a new uh, null layer, or a layer that pretty much does nothing to the composition, but it has some controls within it. So if we do layer new and then null object, tap enter, I'm just gonna call this one local controls. And now with this layer, if we select it and we go to effect, expression controls, and we have this option here for a drop down menu control. And you see if we open the effects now, we have this drop down menu control, and we have the menu. And I'm gonna rename this to base style. And within this menu, we can edit the menu, and you see we have three menu items. Uh, so I'm gonna do my first one labeled as on, my second one labeled as off, and my third one I'm actually gonna delete. And if we drag this menu into our uh, essential graphics, you see we now have this drop down menu option for on and off. And I'm gonna rename it here to base style. So now this is a data point that we can access using expressions throughout the rest of our composition. And this is where you start to code. And what's great about this is it's a very easy user interface uh, to implement some really creative controls depending on how far you wanna push it. So now if we open up the main title rule and we go down to transform, 
The way that you code in After Effects is by holding Option and clicking onto the stopwatch of whichever control you want to control. So I want to do this on the opacity, as that opens up this little text window here. And essentially I'm just going to paste in a very simple bit of code that's going to reference that drop down menu value and apply it to the opacity. So it's going to be asking an if statement. If the value is set to 1, set the opacity to 100%, therefore visible. If the value of the drop down menu is set to 2, set the opacity to zero, therefore invisible. Now I'm not going to go into the depths of how to code in here, but the coding language is JavaScript and there's again plenty of resources online to get you started. For this particular one, I've left it referenced on my blog post if you want to just copy and paste it and tweak it to your needs. But this is just a starting point Then you can see where you can code further and you can really take it to your heart's desire on how far you want to push this. So I'm just going to paste in my code. I can just go back to my essential graphics and I can change my drop down to on or off. And you can see that it's changing that base rule. If I change the color, we can see it a little easier. So I now have on and off. And that's a very quick way of adjusting your design and giving different parameters to your editors. So now that we have our essential graphic and it is ready to be exported, we want to set a poster time essentially updates the thumbnail of your title graphics that will be visible in Premiere Pro. And we can do a save and then export motion graphics template. That's going to collate all of that information within that title template, choose a destination such as your Creative Cloud libraries, or you could have it onto a local drive um, or directly into your templates folder. Add some keywords if you like, and then click OK. That's going to take the name of that template and it's going to apply it into your Creative Cloud library. So now that we're in Premiere Pro, I can open the essential graphics. I can browse that title and drag it directly into my timeline. And once we click onto the title, you'll see that we've got those controls. And I can just do sample title here and I can change the colors of everything that I want to work with and then turn the base style on. And there we go. We've now got a title template that exists and I can drag to change the duration. And now with these titles, it's super efficient to easily add them and keep them consistent from video to video. So I hope that's a good starting point as an inspiration to create your own templates. Of course, you can go extremely deep into this, into the functionality and usability. But as I said, for me, it only took one grain of inspiration to take it to where it is today. Granted, it did take three years to get there, but I hope that is uh, somewhat helpful to you and um, if you want more After Effects things then uh, let me know in the comments and I'll see if there's any way that I can incorporate some tutorials in the future. I hope you found this tutorial useful and if you want to check out the titles they'll be linked in the description. Likewise if you end up going on and making your own titles that would be fantastic. Thanks for watching everyone and I hope to see you in a new video very soon. See ya!